Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast In today's podcast we'll be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on along with the key levels for both the indices Now we'll also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading sessions uh, Nifty started the day on a flat to positive note and attempted to fill the substantial gap zone it had formed on 15th April Uh, that is in the zone of 22480 22500 zone however it encountered selling pressure in the gap zone and subsequently forming a price rejection at these levels and ending the day uh, relatively flat bank nifty post the gap up opening to witnessed a sideways consolidation but if you see from an uh, relative outperformance bank nifty relatively outperformed nifty ending the day with gains of 0.5% Among the sectorial indices if we see uh, Nifty Metal was the best performing uh, index in trade yesterday up 2.67% while on the flip side if we see Nifty IT continue to experience weakness as it was the worst performing sectorial index ending the day with cuts of 0.81% uh, from a macro perspective if we see uh, while the dollar index is uh, sustaining below 106 levels uh, having cooled off to 105.85 uh, Uh, it needs to breach the levels of 105.3 for confirmation of a reversal while the us 10 year yields also have been sideways uh, but they are trading still at elevated levels between 4.65 and 4.55 uh, crude prices if you see are trading between 87 80, 88 a barrel uh, since the past few sessions uh, if there is a surpass of the levels of 91 a barrel uh, it would be a bit of worry from an indian perspective coming to uh, the index level so going forward if you see support for nifty lies around 22320 22280 20, levels while the resistance for the index is seen at 22480 22510 levels any substantial move above the mark of 22510 will lead to an extension of the rally towards the mark of 22700 uh, in case if the index slips below 22280 it will lead to further selling pressure in the index up to the mark of 22160 22080 levels coming to the oi data so if you see today is the monthly expiry for nifty at the current juncture if you see the pcr that is the put call ratio for the index is at 0.99 levels meaningful call writing is witnessed across 22400 and 22500 strike while significant put writing was witnessed in 22400 22300 and 22200 strike respectively the overall range for the coming few sessions could be 22510 on the upside and 22280 on the downside uh, coming to bank nifty so if you see for bank nifty the support is placed at 47930 48000 levels while the resistance on the upside is seen closer towards 48460 48520 If the index slips below the mark of 47930 it will lead to selling pressure in the index towards the mark of 47400 47500 levels while on the upside if the if the resistance zone is taken out uh, then we could uh, see the index uh, sustaining and moving towards fresh high levels uh, on the open interest front for bank nifty so if you see bank nifty pcr currently is at 0.95 a uh, significant call writing is seen across 48200 48500 strike while on the put side if we see it is mainly seen in 48000 puts implying a range of 47940 on the downside and 48520 on the upside uh, coming towards stocks and sectors in momentum from the broader market if we see a lot of traction was witnessed in metal railway defense and psc stocks uh, with the likes of hindalco tata steel dvs lab ubl sail nmdc dixon escort uh, gale cumins india bector foods ircon and concord looking good uh, based on technical parameters as well as the relative strength chart coming to the fii di data so if you see in the cash market per se fii sold to the tune of 2511 crores while dis uh, bought to the tune of 3809 crore FII long short ratio for index futures has further weakened to 31.48% on a net basis this as they sold about 15438 index futures in trade yesterday 
on the stock futures front if you see fis have bought to the tune of 46131 contracts while on the options front fis bought 98567 call contracts and they purchased 11016 put option contracts uh, seems like fis are hedging their net short positions uh, with individual stock specific long positions uh, that's it uh, thanks uh, for regularly listening to our podcast uh, wishing you all an energetic day ahead do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing